What is going on, everybody? My name is Shinsi. Now, today, we're going to be playing a game that for some of this I've never covered on the channel. We're going to be playing Lucas Sand Kings 3. Now, we're going to be playing as a bot called The Fallen Eagle. And this takes place around the dying days of the Roman Empire. Here, I'll zoom out and show you. You can see right here, the Empire is now split in half. About the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Empire here. And if you want to see any further distance, but distance, any further difference, look at this. Yeah, look at all the religions here. But yeah, of course, that's how different it would be. Of course, you have the Aryan Christians over here. But either way, I want to get started. We're going to be playing as uh, the Barangi, which is a Swaby tribe, by the way. And I've already got my character custom made. Yeah, this way you don't have to go through the process of being created a character. But irregardless, if you want to see more of Crusader Kings 3 or of this mod in general, surely put thoughts up down below. Now, my goal is to unite all of Germania. And for some reason, Bohemia and Moravia are part of Germania. I don't know why. But wait, hold up. Can I see something? The Assyrian Empire. I can't say I've heard of that, but either way. Let's get right into it. Oh, the Empire is already in the East. I, I, I don't think they were around by this point. But, irregardless, let's get started and I'll stop talking. There we go. And yes, I have a few other mods going. Yeah, let's select a style. Which I'm gonna go with the strategy focus. Use our first point on Bell and just told I think that's how you say it. There we go. Now, usually when I'm not recording, I play with console commands, but since I'm doing this for YouTube, I'm not going to use console commands just for the purpose of this particular playthrough. In a future video, I will cover the console commands that I tend to use. Let's get started. Let's, let's drop down to three. Well, let's check our realm. Let's pass limited tribal authority. Yeah, we're kind of insignificant at the moment. Man, just listen to that soundtrack. I know you probably might not be able to hear it right now because I have the volume really low because I just recorded this earlier and it was insanely loud. Okay, we have a uh, uh, Saxon or however you pronounce it. But uh, yeah, of course we have the angles here, the units. Of your Scandinavia. I will not be covering Scandinavia in this mod. I will be covering that in the main game. <sighs> but let's speed it up a little bit. Uh, Regagi is over here in Pomerania. On the Kingdom of Ruga. Network. Right, now we're reliably supplying them in the field. And also, the reason why you're seeing the ID of everything, I'm using the ID tool. I pretty much use that when I'm lying, but I don't want to turn it off because I'm going to be using it when I'm done. Actually, 
let's go as fast as possible. The elements were the warrior people. Oh, and of course, they're going to war with the Romans. Yeah, but of course, they're going to try and separate um, Babylonia from the Western Empire. Destruction that will help us out. Why do you have 
Indian hairstyle. I'm going in here to change that. Alright, that's better. Let's keep playing. And if you couldn't guess, the culture group is Swedish. Iceland were Irish monks. At least that's what I think might have happened. Okay, hit and run. Let's use that. That will help us in raids. And of course, the islands, they also gain some territory here. You're probably going to tell them I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing a lot of these. And of course, we have Lombardia right here, and which ended up birthing the uh, Lombard culture, obviously. Yeah. Oh, I got sneeze. Basically, just raiding and supply efficiency. That does help with raids later on. Yeah, as I mentioned before, Burgundy is right here in Pomerania. Polonia. <laughs> Okay, I don't think the Slavic Pagan Faith actually had an actual name, but I, but I don't think this would be the name, really. But yeah, again, I digress. so far.
used the debug here, but I'm not. Yeah, let's, let's, yeah, some of those I don't need, but I'll get this one. Okay, two arms. Once I reach this, we're gonna merge the army once we can capture that. See, we gotta build up our army if we wanna get roll over Saxonia. <laughs> yeah, just look at all those duchies right there. Wow, another one. Never really 
getting our family off the ground this time, man. Yes, we got a network of merchants. Yes, climb in the field. Hang on. To check the council. Our culture up here. Uh, go with Terry. Well, there's nothing else I can do. It says we're at max. Oh. oh man, that caught me off guard. Sorry, it's just this song it keeps catching me off guard. Sappers. Okay, a lot of these are more Latin sound. Go oh, well. See right here if you didn't catch. Yeah. Just like that. Wow, another one. We're gonna have a lot of kids by the end of this. You bury a claim. Where are you going? Start reading. And she comes of age. Harder than spouse. Let's see. Okay, I wanna. You know, it's like is a good side, so. Yeah. Matrilineal? Yeah. We're out fast. Excellent. Now we'll keep the alliance going as long as possible. Ugh. Let's see, Burgundia. <laughs> we can start the game. Let's. Someone. 
Yeah, we can secure our lives with the Thuringians. because this will give us a chance of getting new inheritable traits and also inheriting good traits.
frame plot. Right, to order to fray into your turn. first episode here. Well, like I said, if you want to see more of this, just leave a thumbs up down below. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications for when I release a new video. And I will be seeing